Welcome to ASU's University Academic Success Programs. This video will cover the topic, Ideal Gases. What is an ideal gas? In chemistry, there are exceptions to almost every rule. There are certain laws that we say govern the behavior of gases, but really, they describe the behavior of ideal gases. An ideal gas is hypothetical. Its molecules occupy negligible space, have no interactions, and obey the gas laws exactly. Are any real gases actually like this? Technically, no. If we were to increase the pressure on a certain gas, the volume would approach, but never equal zero, because molecules always occupy some space. Also, intermolecular forces still exist in gases, which becomes more applicable at low temperatures when molecules slow down. Although there is no true ideal gas, most gases, in many situations, follow the ideal gas law very closely, which still makes the law useful for making approximations. Before we delve into the ideal gas law, let's first talk about standard temperature and pressure. Standard temperature and pressure, or STP, is useful for calculating gas density and volume. Standard temperature is zero degrees Celsius. We often measure temperature in Kelvin when dealing with gases, and zero degrees Celsius is equivalent to 273.15 Kelvin. Standard pressure is one atmosphere. This is equivalent to 101.3 kilopascals 760 millimeters of mercury, or 760 tor. Another common piece of information is that at standard temperature and pressure, one mole of gas occupies 22.4 liters. Now, how do we know this? We can derive this value from the ideal gas law. The state of an amount of gas depends on its pressure, volume, and temperature. The ideal gas law can be expressed by the following equation. P times V equals N times R times T. What do all the variables represent? P is the pressure of the gas and is often measured in atmospheres. V is the volume of the gas and is measured in liters. N is the amount of gas, which is the number of moles. T is the absolute temperature of the gas and is measured in Kelvin, and R is the universal gas constant, which has the value 0 0.08206 liters times atmosphere per mole times Kelvin. If we were to substitute the standard pressure and standard temperature into the equation for one mole of gas, using the gas constant 0 0.08206 liter times atmosphere per mole times Kelvin, we can solve for V, and we see that at standard temperature and pressure, one mole of gas occupies 22.4 liters of space. Okay, I think that makes sense. But what if we're given the mass of a gas instead of the number of moles? This shouldn't be a problem, as long as we know the molar mass of the gas. This is because the number of moles of a gas is equal to its mass divided by its molar mass. Let's take a look at an example problem. Let's say that three grams of helium gas is placed in an evacuated five liter container at 60 degrees Celsius. Don't we need the temperature in Kelvin instead of Celsius? You're right we need to convert Celsius to Kelvin. One degree for both Kelvin and Celsius is the same magnitude. The difference between the two scales is that zero Kelvin is at absolute zero, while zero degrees Celsius is the temperature at which water freezes, which is 273.15 Kelvin. So if zero degrees Celsius is equivalent to 273.15 Kelvin, we can add our Celsius measurement to 273.15 to convert to Kelvin. This shows us that 60 degrees Celsius 
is equivalent to 333.15 Kelvin. Knowing that the molar mass of helium is 4.0026 grams per mole, we can substitute our values into the ideal gas equation to find the pressure in the container. We see that under these conditions, the pressure is 4.1 atmospheres. Okay, so when it comes to gases, STP stands for standard temperature and pressure, which is one atmosphere and zero degrees Celsius. Also, we can determine the pressure, volume, or temperature of a certain amount of gas using the ideal gas law. Ideal gases have molecules that occupy no volume and have no interactions. Although real gases are not ideal, we can use the ideal gas law to make reasonable estimates. That's exactly right. Great work!